Okay, so, uh, for the summary of the story, for uh, What Upon I Will Redeem, it follows a story of a man named Jackson Jackson, who is a homeless man, but he is homeless by choice, mostly. He, um, he lives his life kind of loosely, I'd say, um, kind of sometimes, I guess, a little irresponsibly based on how the story goes. He finds himself kind of wandering about and he finds that he stumbles upon his mother's or uh, his grandmother's regalia and he really wants to get it back. And so he makes a deal with the store clerk and the store clerk tells him that if he gets any money um, by a certain time, he will give it to him at a cheaper price than it was originally for. And he goes and tries to make this money in that time, but he constantly spends it and in the end he does get it, but not for the price that was agreed upon. And um, the store clerk just ended up giving it to him anyway because he did earn some money back. Alright, so for the second question, was the main character justified in getting his grandmother's regalia back? Defend your answers with details. So I'd say that it's kind of tough for this question because you constantly see Jackson earn money but then spend it immediately. And even though he is homeless and he does need food and all this stuff, there is some irresponsibility because he does buy, like, booze and he finds that he doesn't have any money even after he just made it. And so that leads him to not earning them all the money that he could have earned. But it's also hard because he does seem to have a lot of passion in earning the money itself. Like, he, would, he went and found a job um, selling newspapers and he only made $5, but... Even then, he didn't make enough because of the spending, and but he still had the integrity to like try his hardest and make what he could. And so, I'd say that he is partially justified because of that, because he has it in his soul to try, but he just has a bit of a spending problem. <laughs> and so, uh, let's see. For the... Third question, was the clerk obligated to return the regalia? I wouldn't say he was obligated, but it was more like he was trying to be, I guess, a good person because he saw that Jackson had tried to earn the money back and he did come back at the time they agreed and he knew that it meant a lot to him to get it back. And so I'd say that the clerk was just being like a human being. He was being really... Um, like understanding and he was just being a good person, helping out um, Jackson when because he knew he really uh, had like passion to try and get like this regalia back, even though it was a lot of money, you know. Um, so I wouldn't say he was obligated. So for question four, did the main character redeem himself by the end? So I would say that he did redeem himself a bit because he did have like the um kind of like the passion in like his heart you know to try and earn as much money as he could and he tried for like the sake of his family I'd say because it is his grandmother's um even though he did spend his money irresponsibly and he did lose his friends immediately after they went out to try and make the money uh, he did earn the regalia back with the help of the clerk and I'd say that he did learn a lot on along the way kind of like is like as long as I try and earn money I'd probably you know you'd understand that you could achieve what you want to achieve um as long as you are responsible um and so I believe that's everything